So I tried Motion again to see how this productivity up evolved in the last year and whether it's worth the $220 per year. Stay here and find out the surprising features that caught my attention, the challenges I faced and whether this app truly lives up to its price tag. Let's dive in! Motion is an AI-based scheduling tool and more than 1 million people use it for managing their day-to-day -day life. But it's more than just a scheduling tool and works like a personal assistant. Motion combines multiple tools into one app, such as calendar management, meeting management, task management and project management. Let's see Motion's key features. Managing your personal, work-related tasks across multiple calendars such as Gmail or Outlook can be really tough. But with Motion, you can bring the Google Calendar, Apple Calendar and Outlook Calendar together into one single view. If you go to the settings and click on the Calendars tab, you can add your calendars with just one click. It's super easy. The best thing is that you can just drag and drop your calendar events to move them in your Motion Calendar. And your other calendars will reflect the changes if you want. Stay here, because now I will show its AI scheduling feature where I face some difficulties when using Motion. Motion design its AI scheduling feature based on how the most productive people work. But before you start pumping your tasks into Motion, make sure that you add your time slots for work, personal activities and more. You can do this in the settings menu using the schedules option. This will help Motion to schedule the task for the time when you can effectively deal with them. If a task takes more time than you think and you cannot finish it but there are already other tasks, Motion will schedule based on your priorities, deep work hours, preferences and personal events. It all sounds fantastic, right? But here is the thing. I didn't feel Motion's AI tool that powerful. Many times I just drag and drop the task in my calendars because Motion did not find the right place for it. While its AI scheduling feature became better over time, I still needed to do some manual work. As you can feel it, overall I had a mixed experience with Motion's AI feature. But the question is whether Motion's other features can justify its price. Let's find out. Now I will show you some task management features that really were great for me. If you enjoyed this video so far, please consider subscribing and support me with a thumbs up so I can help more people. Let's see the task management tools. Motion's task management feature is a powerful tool for developing more efficient tasks and time management. It allows you to smoothly add and assign new tasks to you or your teammates, while the task dashboard provides a clear overview of tasks in progress and those that have not been completed yet. When adding a task, you can select the assignee, priority, duration, start date, due date and when to auto schedule it. What I recognize when using Motion is that you can add tasks from basically every pages. It's a small thing but believe me it's quite useful that you can manage and add tasks from every pages you are working on. Task management tools are great but it's more efficient when you can use them as part of your project management processes. Let's check out how Motion stacks up in case of project management tools. The main difference between Motion and other productivity apps is that Motion is an all-in-one app. In that sense, it's quite similar to Notion. That being said, Motion is a lightweight project management tool and has similar characteristics like its task management tools. When setting up a project, you can specify the due date, add priority notes and assign tests to your team members. Additionally, you and your teammates can leave comments under each project and add new tasks if necessary. It is also excellent that Motion offers several view options like Gantt chart, Kanban boards and list views. Also, you can apply filters and easily select, move, edit or manage your projects. After you add the task to your projects, Motion will take it from here and schedule these tasks using its AI feature. After you added your projects and tasks, it makes sense to check your Motion calendar to see how your upcoming schedule looks like. As you can see, Motion updated my calendar with a new task. It found the empty time slots based on my preferences and automatically scheduled all the tasks. Compared to many project management tools, Motion not only helps you with the project management itself, but it also ensures that you will complete the task on time. Based on my experience, Motion's project management feature has all the tools small business might need to manage their projects. It provides a simple and straightforward platform to help you automate your project planning 
and also assist in the execution. Motion's meeting scheduler helps you and others to book time with you. It uses booking links that can simplify the appointment scheduling. To access the booking link feature, hit the booking links option at the top. Here you can select which booking link you want to send, but you can also make changes when it should show you as available. For example, I prepared a new schedule for me called meetings, and Motion will only show the time slots I gave to this schedule. However, you can customize it in more detail. You can add buffer time and date range, or limit the number of days for the meetings. Once you finish the customization, you can just share the link and they can access your booking page. Overall, the meeting scheduler helps you to automate the scheduling, display the preferred time slots for others to book time with you, and limit the number of meetings per day. I particularly loved the level of detail when it comes to customization here. You can use Motion through its desktop app, web app, and on mobile devices. When it comes to mobile devices, you can use it on Android and iOS devices as well. Personally, I use the iOS version and it worked really great for me. An additional plus for me is that their developer team frequently updates the mobile app of Motion. Motion gives you a one week free trial and has the following pricing structure. If taking a look at the individual plan, you can see that there is a significant difference between the annual and the monthly plan. While the individual plan is $19 per month if you opt for the annual plan, the monthly plan will cost you $34 per month. Therefore, if you decide to commit yourself to Motion after your one week free trial, it definitely makes sense to choose the annual plan. The individual plan includes all the features I showed you here including the AI scheduling tool, the meeting assistant, and the task and project management features. The business standard plan is $12 per month per user if picking the annual plan, and around $17 if going forward with the monthly plan. Furthermore, Motion offers a business pro plan as well for teams of 15 users or more. Motion applies customized pricing here. Compared to other scheduling tools, Motion might seem expensive. However, it worth to mention that Motion is not just a scheduling app. It can effectively replace your project management software and task management tool and also your calendar application. So if you combine the pricing of all these tools, you can see that Motion offers a quite reasonable pricing. To summarize, Motion is an all-in-one app for scheduling, calendar, task and project management. It can replace not only one app in your tool stack, but at least two or three. It is valuable that Motion integrates with all your calendars. This way you can track all your events in one single place. Furthermore, I think it is an efficient project management tool for small teams. And lastly, Motion is a straightforward app. I enjoyed how easy it is to add a task or even a project and manage your calendars. On the other hand, I had some small issues when using Motion. The biggest con for me is that Motion has no free plan with limited features. I understand some of you guys want to have just a free scheduling tool without task or project management tools. But for those, Motion is might not be the best alternative right now. Also, while Motion is an AI based tool, I did not find the AI features that massive. I would say the auto scheduling feature works fine. But apart from this, there are no other AI capabilities built in Motion. Ultimately, my overall experience with Motion was great and worth every penny for me. The integration of all my calendars, personal projects and tasks into Motion is quite efficient. I think it can really help people to live and work in an organized manner and overcome procrastination. That was it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to see similar content in the future, please consider liking and subscribing. Catch you later.